hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this corset blouse with a side caged corset so you will need like three yards of ankara fabric to achieve this style if not more then you will need your one row of bias you will need a bra cup and you will also need like four yards of boning you can use a regiline bone or a plastic bone so first of all i will draft my pattern i will use the brack up method the popular brack up method because it will make this blouse easier so you can see my brack up i have already picked a dart for my brack up to make it deeper you can see what i did right there so i picked a small dart for the brack up so that it will be deeper so after that first of all i will come in by half an inch from the center of this pattern paper we all know how to draft this but let me just recap it so that i can carry you guys along because this one is for a blouse so i will come in by 0 0.5 inch from the center of this pattern paper then from there i will mark a straight line down i'll mark a straight line down then after doing that i will place my bra up to be on this half an inch line that i marked so you can see how i placed my bra up the upper part is on that 0.5 inch line so after placing that you will go ahead and mark out the shape of this bra cup you can see how i am marking out the shape of the bra cup this method is very very easy for this blouse you can as well use other methods but this one is okay and i will not recommend this blouse for a plus size i don't think it's okay for a plus size then i'll place my underboss at the underboss area then i'll mark my half length the full length the full length is 24 plus one inch seam allowance that is 25 so i'll go ahead and mark the lines the underboss line the half length the full length and the allowance and i'm done labeling them so if you want to use a dart for this blouse it is up to you you can go ahead and mark your dart so i am just marking this dart for marking sake for the people that want to use a dart but for me i don't think i will use this dart i will not use this dart for this corset so it will also make my job very simple and way easier then I'll mark my dart line and I'll subtract half an inch on each side of this dart line. So after marking that dart, I will go ahead and take my bust measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance. I'll also mark my waist divided by 4 plus 2 inch seam allowance. So if you want to do your waist snatching on this blouse or waist cinching, you will have to subtract 2 inches from your normal waist measurement. So I marked my waist measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance. Then at the full length, I marked my hip, my hip measurement. That is, if your hip is 44, you mark 44 divided by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance. So after marking that, I will go ahead and connect the lines. So I'm making sure that all my measurements are correct before connecting the lines. So after marking this, this will be the this will be the front pattern for now. For now, I will still do everything as we progress, but for now this is my front pattern. So after cutting out this front pattern, I will use it to cut out the back and the back pattern is also easy, very very easy. So for the back part, remember that we will have to lace it or tie it at the back so i'll also show you guys how to do that for the back then i'll go ahead and cut this out so this is the front for now and do not cut out the bra cup for now leave the bra cup area for now so here is the pattern paper for the back part i will place the front on the back and you can see that i did not add any zipper allowance to that back then i'll go ahead and cut out exactly what i have on the front pattern without any zipper allowance then after that i will remove the front i'll separate the front pattern then for the neckline of the back i want it to come down a bit i want the neckline to come down a bit so you can see how i curved 
the neckline i want it to just come down a bit then after marking that i will go in by two inches from the center back because I want this laced area to be open. It depends on how open you want yours to be. If you want it to be like one inch, two inches apart, fine. But mine, I want it to be four inches apart. That's why I went in by two inches. Then I cut that out and I also cut out the neckline. So I'll label this one. This one is the back. You can see that the neckline area is deeper than that of the front. So that is it for the back. So back to the front. Around the brack up area, I will come in by 0 0.4 inch. You can come in by 0 0.5 if you want, but I will come in by 0 0.4 inch, and this will be the allowance for joining the brack up to this corset. I don't know if you get. If you cut it exactly on that line that I marked, it will be wider than the brack up when joining. So just come in by 0 0.4, and then you will connect that 0 0.4 line. After connecting it, then you can go ahead and cut. And that will be all for the front. I've been doing this often. By now, many of you must have known how to cut this. So that is it for now. And this is the front. So I'll go ahead and cut out my pattern on my fabric. And this front pattern will be on full. So here is my fabric. I have my Ankara, I have my bias. I have my lining and I added a tissue gum to the lining. If you want, you can add your gum to the fabric as well. But I don't have enough so I did not add it to my fabric. So I am not cutting out the pattern. This is for the front. The front is on fold. The fabric for the front is on fold. The lining is on fold as well. So if I open up the front, this is what I have. So the next thing that I will do is to go ahead and run my bias strip the way you want. You can just use it to make any design of your choice. So just go ahead and run your bias strip the way you want. So I'm not adding any that. It will make this job very easy for me. So this is for the back. If I open it up, this is what I have. So I will also go ahead and run my bias strip on this back pattern. And this is the back up cover. I have cut out the back up cover. This is for the fabric. And I also cut another one out. That is the lining. So this is what we have. I'll go ahead and join it and I'll also run a bias strip on that brack or cover. So here is the front. I'm done running my bias strip on the front. I am also done doing the same thing to the back. You can see the back. So you are free to add the design of your choice. Here is for the brack or cover. I also run my bias at the joining of this brack or Cover. so i will use this one to cover my brack up i have a detailed video on how to cut out this and how to cover a brack up a very detailed video i will try and link it here so i'll go ahead and place my brack up inside this brack up cover then i will go ahead and cover it so here is the lining i did not do anything on the lining if you want to add your bones on your lining you can as well do that but i did not do anything on the lining so here is the front the next thing that we do is to add my bone i used a plastic bone for this so i'll go ahead and insert my bone so if you are inserting this bone you should leave half an inch gap around the neckline area and at the hem area just go ahead and insert your bone so after inserting this bone please make sure you iron like if you want your bone to be straight just sprinkle it with water and iron so if you're using a steam iron i don't think you will need to sprinkle water so just after adding this bone you can see that it is folding it is bending just go ahead and sprinkle spray um water on it and then iron after ironing it it will be very very flat so after inserting my bones inside these channels that i made for it on the front i will also do the same thing for the back so this one will be the last for the front so after doing that i will go ahead and insert my bones to inside the back channels that i made and please do not forget to iron so that it will be very very flat i only need to make the job very easy for you so you don't need to add any bone inside the brack up cover it is not needed at all so 
so this is it right now i'll go ahead and iron them so i am done ironing i'm done ironing and you can see how flat it looks so right now i will turn this front part with its lining i'll place the lining and i'll go ahead and turn only the neck i'll turn the neckline area the side and the down part of this front pattern so just turn everything for now we still get to the peplum part i'm trying to make this easy and understandable to a lot of us so i'll go ahead and turn the back i'll turn the neckline the lace area and i'll leave a space at the down part where i'll turn it out from so here's the bra up i am done turning my bra up and it looks fine so this is the back part i left a space around the down side this is where i will turn it out from so i'll turn it out and iron here is the front i will go ahead and join my bra up to the space that i have for the bra up you can see what i have that right there i will go ahead and fix my bra up if you want to add trimmings on your bra up or beads you can do that as well so i am done turning everything and ironing i'll go ahead and shape them with half an inch with two inches sorry just place the back on the front then you go ahead and take your bust measurements your waist measurements and your hip measurements then you go ahead and shape so after shaping this is how it looks i am done ironing as well so right now i will go ahead and mark the curve where the peplum will be fixed so i'll place my under bust measurement at the under bust then i'll determine my half length my half length is 17 this will st start at the half length this curve will start at the half length then from that half length you mark your curve you can see how i'm marking mine you go ahead and mark your curve this is for the right side so after marking for the right side you go ahead and mark for the left side as well so make sure that they are very close in measurement make sure that they are equal if possible then you go ahead and cut out so after cutting this out please remember to reduce the bones you know the bone and at that that area will interfere when joining this peplum so after cutting please ensure to reduce the bone it is very very important so that it will not be cutting your thread when you are joining your peplum to this so right now i will go ahead and reduce my bone you can see this bone on the back part also will interfere so if you reduced your back part by one inch like if you reduce the lacing part by one inch it will not get to this stage this curve will not get to this stage where it is now but it is very tiny around the back because i reduced it by two inches then i'll go ahead and measure the curve that i have so this curve that you cut out you go ahead and measure the length so after measuring i got 18 inches i measured the other one i got 18 inches as well so that means the length of this peplum will be 18 inches i have 18 inches so that means the length of this peplum will be 18 inches so right now this is the fabric that i want to use to cut out the peplum i will have to fold i want to cut the two of them once so i have folded it is on fold right now right so i'll go ahead and measure nine 18 divided by two is nine plus half an inch seam allowance that will be nine and half that will be nine and half then for the length i want to make it 10 for now just make it 10 for now after marking the 10 you can now trim it the way you want to so here is it i'll go ahead and cut out so if i open this up you will notice that i have two i have two pieces right here i will still cut out their lining so this is the reason why i said you should make it 10. so after opening it up you can now go ahead and trim it the way you want to just give it the shape you want to then you open up the two of them 
so i want to trim it down a bit so after doing this you cut out the lining you can add a hard gum to the fabric and a hard gum to the lining so i'll go ahead and cut out the lining i still want to trim it down a bit So this one is for the sleeve. The sleeve is very easy. Just go ahead and cut out a straight fabric. You are free to determine how long you want your sleeve to be. But the wideness should be up to like 20 inches or 25 inches. So that when you gather the sleeve, you know, they gather the sleeve a bit before fixing it to the blouse. So you can see, make sure that the wideness is like up to 20 so after cutting out the sleeve you go ahead and cut out the lining as well like you will cut out um, a lining for it and you add a hard gum to the lining if you want you can add a hard gum to the fabric itself so here is for the peplum i'll go ahead and run my bias strip on them you have like six on each peplum so after running the straight straight ones you turn it with the lining before running the curved one so i am done running my straight um, line so after doing this i will go ahead and turn it with the lining first of all so after turning with the lining i will now run the round one at the edge so i added the i added a hard gum a soft gum to my lining but if you are making it please add a hard gum to the lining and a hard gum to the fabric it's very important so right now i'm done turning i'll go ahead and run the bias round the edge so that is where i will insert the main bone that will make this peplum to stand so i am done running that i will go ahead and insert my bones first of all i will insert a bone inside the round the curved edge it is very important so if you are buying a bone i will suggest um let's say a tiny bone you know we have the wider bones and the tiny ones so buy the tiny ones because it will make the passage very very easy if you should buy the wide bones you will have difficulties in inserting this bone and a plastic bone is the best for this type of corset a plastic bone is just the best so after that i will insert my bones inside the straight ones i'm already running short of bone i will insert it inside the straight ones and then after doing that you can see how it looks then i'll go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other one so when you reach the edge you push it so that it will enter very well and leave like half an inch gap at the rough part so that when you are joining it to the blouse you will not have um issues because this bone is always cutting thread so right now you go ahead and fix the peplum around the space you made for you so i'm trying to measure to make sure that everything is equal so i noticed that the fabric is a kind of longer so i'll go ahead and shape it a bit like shape it by like half an inch so that when i join the peplum everything will align so i'll also go ahead and fix the other part so after fixing that this is what i have so i am done with everything for the back part if you want you can use a bias strip to make your loops but if you also want you can make your eyelids but i think i prefer eyelids to loop so here is the lining for the sleeve i am running short of bone so i used a crino line i doubled my crino line i ran a crino, crino line at two sides of this sleeve so if you are making yours for a client you should add a hard gum to the lining and a hard gum to the fabric itself so i am done turning this crino line and the hard gum will make it 
stick then i'll go ahead and gather the edges i'll gather the ends and this is what i have so right now i you fix it on my blouse so here is my blouse i will fix one end around the dart line of the back you gather the edge this way then you fix one around the dart line of the back and then you fix the other one at the front and that is it guys for this top so at the end of the day our top is very beautiful i want to remind you guys that our august online classes is going on registration is going on right now please make sure you register we have the corset blazer jumpsuits emo blouse and trouser so thank you guys so much for watching i hope our top is very beautiful my apprentice is still holding it at the back so thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that when i upload you will get notified thank you guys so much see you in my next video bye